Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing an unboxing video of some e.l.f. products that I ordered during Black Friday. It was Black Friday. I was a little tipsy, so I'm like, hmm, let's see what I need. So let's open this baby up. Ah. I don't even remember what I ordered, so we're about to find out together. Hopefully these are things that I really need. <laughs> So, as soon as I open the box, everything's there, loose like a goose. So, I think I ordered 14 items. Let's find out. Here's my list. It looks like I ordered the highlighter, <coughs> highlighter, <laughs> the highlighter duo heart defense. I don't know why it says heart defense. That's weird. Anyway. I got some brush shampoo, a lip plumping gloss, antioxidant setting powder, daily brush cleaner, a matte lip color, two pack makeup remover cloths, poreless face primer, instant brow lift pencil, lip exfoliator, lip exfoliator, two lip exfoliators, makeup mist and set, and studio blush. All right, so basically, yeah, these are things that I do need for my little makeup collection. So, let's start with the first item on the list. Actually, no. Let's start from the end of the list, and let's save the highlighter for the end, because that's actually what I wanted to get. That's actually what I actually needed. Did I really order 13 items? Let me check my email. So yeah, I just checked my email and actually I did order 13 things. I'm telling you, I was a little tipsy while I was ordering these things. So let's start unboxing the things. So we'll start with the studio blush. That I needed because I don't have any blush. So this is the studio blush. It is in the shade Mellow Mauve. Is that how you say it, Mellow Mauve? It looks like this. It looks a little dark on the packaging, so let's open it up. Can't get it out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to rip this thing open. All right, so trash, trash. This is the blush. Okay, so once you open it, it doesn't look as brown like it does in the picture. Look at this. Compare that. Compare that to this. I mean, the stripe here is a little bit more like the color. It's a little more pink here, but let me remove this film. So, let's see, does it match? I mean, it kind of matches the stripe, but not the picture. So that was the blush. Moving on. Next on the list, we have the Makeup Mist and Set. So the Makeup Mist and Set would be this one here. I've used one of their primers before. It was a Aqua Mist primer and setting spray. But like the mist, the the nozzle would squirt instead of mist. So hopefully this one's a little different. Let's give it a go. Why is their packaging so hard to get out? Oh. Ugh. All right. These lights are so hot. I'm literally sweating. And then I just drink coffee, so I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I normally don't drink coffee because I hate feeling jittery and out of control. So this is the Makeup Mist and Set Clear. So this is the large bottle, okay? I am dying in here. This is hot. Anyway, so let's try this baby out. Hopefully this mist and not squirts all over your face like the other setting spray. Go. I'm scared. It already sounds like it's gonna squirt all over my face. 
I don't know why I just breathed in with my mouth open. Mm. I mean, the nozzle squirts a little bit, but not, not as bad as the other one, so whatever. Let's put a little more. Whew. Oh my gosh, my coffee. It's gonna taste delicious. So, let's see how it feels on the skin. Nice and wet and sweaty. I thought this was a primer too. Oh, this goes on after you apply your fucking makeup. So this is just the finishing spray basically, okay? Once you do your makeup, you apply this on. I read it wrong, ha, my bad. But I mean, whatever. Next, we have a lip exfoliator. I put my glasses on. So let's check out the lip exfoliators. I bought two of them, so this is one. This is the lip exfoliator in Mint Maniac. So let's open it up. Why is this hard to get out? So this is the Mint Maniac Lip Exfoliator. I'm gonna open the other one first before I even put this one on. And then this is another um, Lip Exfoliator. It's in Grapefruit. So let's open this one up. So we have two Lip Exfoliators. Mint Maniac and Grapefruit. Oh, I feel like doing the Mint Maniac. It's not smooth. What the hell is that? Let's try it again, it's not smooth. I don't know if these are supposed to go on smooth, but it's like really hard to apply. Try to melt it on the lip. Uh, I mean, is it supposed to exfoliate my lips because I'm rubbing it really hard or what? I don't feel like anything's coming off of this. Oh my god, I'm gonna break this. This is so weird. I didn't get any product on my lip, I swear. It's literally still the same shape. What the hell? I mean, it was a dollar. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Don't recommend this one. Let's try the other one. I wonder if it says instructions. Hold on. Directions. Apply to clean, damp lips and massage in a secular motion to exfoliate. Use a moistured, moistened cotton pad with water and gently wipe away the scrub. Follow with a lip balm or gloss to condition. So I have to like, what, lick my lips first or something? Let's give it a go. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah.
Okay. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay. That was my bad. You're supposed to lick your lips before you apply it or moisten your lips with whatever. I don't know. Okay. Feels exfoliated enough. Who needs a cloth when you got your hands, right? Moving on. So that was both the exfoliators. And now we have the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. So that would be this one here. I needed one of these because, um, well, I needed one of these, duh. This is a must have for sure. So I got this in Deep Brown, in the shade Deep Brown. Ugh, I'm the worst when it comes to opening things. I'm very gentle. Like, just break it open. Don't be scared. Oh. oh my gosh, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna open this. Oh, geez. Woo! Finally! Jesus. So this is the elf brow pencil. It comes with a little spoolie for the brows. And a sanitary cap of course and then on the other end is the pencil so let's check out how much product comes in here I mean that's all the product com that comes in here which is not bad for the price really let's give it a little swatch I mean that, the good thing is it's not intense and waxy as other products that I've seen. So this should be easy to apply. Next product we'll be checking out is the Poreless Face Primer, which is this one here. So like I said, I've used their primers before, the setting mist, but this one is a This one is a, just like a squirt type thing. It's a pump. So let's prime the face, see how it feels. Oh. So let's see what two pumps does. This feels very soft and oily. <laughs> I think I put too much on my hand. Do I look poreless, guys? Oh my god. It smells delicious. Oh my god. I feel super greasy. <laughs> but, I mean, it doesn't look super greasy. It feels like the Smashbox photo finish primer. So next we have the two pack of makeup remover, which is this one here. It comes with two packs. So it's just a makeup remover. You all know what that does. So we don't need to really go into a try on. And then we have the matte lip color which is this one here, matte lip color, in the shade Prol Proline, Proline, Proline. <laughs> Woo, crack myself up, girl. 
My hands are like super oily. Yeah, this is the matte lip color. Ugh, my hands are so slippery. Oh, oh. So this is the shade here. So let's see how much product comes in here. That's it, that's all the color that comes in here. Let's see how that looks. It is a matte color, so. I mean, it looks very natural. And I like the color, it's. It's a nice brown with a little hint of pink. So that was the lip color, the lipstick matte color. Next on the list we have the Daily Brush Cleaner, which is this one here. So then we have the Antioxidant Setting Powder. I'll use this one in a video, but this is the Antioxidant uh, Setting Powder. The packaging is cute. Uh, let's give it an opening here. I always struggle with opening things. Why? All right. So this is the ELF setting powder, Beauty Shield Antioxidant Armored Setting Powder. I heard good things about this. They have another setting powder, but that one gives you a lot of flashback. When you take pictures, you can see the powder on your face. So hopefully this doesn't give you that flashback. I heard it doesn't. We have the Lip Plumping Gloss, which is this one here. I got it in the shade Mocha Twist. So let's put it on, actually. Okay. So this is the product. I hate lip glosses, by the way. They're so sticky. Normally they're so sticky, but this one actually feels... All right. Wow. This one does not feel sticky at all. But I am starting to feel the little tingly sensation that the lip plumping glosses normally give you. So I'm not mad. Next on the list, we have the brush shampoo. So let's give that one a whirl. So this is the e.l.f. brush shampoo here. Let's open it. I'm gonna pour it into this little thing. Ugh. Why do they do this to me? I hate opening stuff. I'm the worst. gonna go all around so I don't struggle and I bet you I'm still gonna struggle what did I say I always struggle with opening things <laughs> okay oh my god finally so this is the shampoo I'm gonna be testing this out on some e.l.f. brushes that I have uh, from when I first started doing my face. So, a little bit goes a long way. Literally, I poured in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And let's put a little water. You don't want to put too much water because then you're going to get the water into your brushes where the glue is and then your brushes are going to fall apart and you don't want that. Well, let's start with the um, bronzing brush because that one should have a lot of bronzer in it. So I want to drop, drop a little more water. This has a lot of water. <laughs> I'm literally throwing out the shampoo. Fabulous. Oh no, the shampoo is still at the bottom, so not bad. 
Alright, so let's go in there. And I'm just whirling it up. Oh, looks nice and dirty. Oh, God. Look at all that bacteria that's been building up over a year on that brush. And I'm just dunking it, you know? Dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh, God. These were so dirty. Wow. Wow. Oh. And now I'm gonna grab a paper towel. Let's see how much product comes off. Oh! <laughs> this shampoo really cleans because I don't see any, any residue or anything like that. It's coming off really clean. So I'm super pleased with the shampoo. I really recommend it. I don't think I'm ever going to use this brush again, but you never know. Oh, not bad. Looks new. So yeah, just lay it down. I would recommend you kind of elevate it like that so that the water does not go up into the glue area. So that way all the water comes out. So let's put this aside. That was a good product. Satisfied. Last but not least, the highlighter. This is by Hard Defenser. I believe she has a YouTube channel. I forgot what it's called, but it's something Heart. I don't know if it's My Heart or something Heart. <laughs> but she's a YouTuber. And let's take out the packaging. This is in the shade Coffee and Cream. This is mainly the reason why I bought this makeup. I love the packaging, very reflective, beautiful, beautiful. And let's open it up. Ooh, beautiful, it comes with a little mirror here. Fancy, fancy. And these are the shades. I'm guessing this is coffee <laughs> and this is cream. So let's wash this on my hand. So let's start with the um, coffee shade. Ooh, very nice. So this is how it looks. And can you see it? Ooh, looks nice. I like it. And then let's try cream. Being generous. I will place cream here. Oh. Beautiful. Let's do coffee again because I feel like I didn't press far enough. Oh, yes. So we have. So we have. Coffee here. And cream here. Looks nice. Very beautiful. I like them. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Be sure to check out my next video and where I'll be using all these e.l.f. products. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Bye.